one, so if you've been to your local drugstore lately, you may have noticed the display that Revlon has brought back five of their super lustrous, yes, five super lustrous lipsticks. They had a fan vote, and the five sheets that got chosen were, I have a little thing next to me, uh, Icy Violet from 1946, Snow Peach from 1956, Sandstorm from 1999, Fifth Avenue Red from 1958, and Jungle... Jungle Peach from 1963. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of Revlon lipsticks. I own quite a few, but I'm not really a big fan of them. And when I found out that they were releasing this fan favorites collection, I wasn't too psyched. My friend spotted the collection and got me two shades. Um, and so I got Sandstorm from 1999 and Icy Violet from 1946. Now, um, here is a, I'm going to show you a picture from the blog Nouveau Cheap. Check her out. Great drugstore information. Um, this is the picture she posted, and this is what they're supposed to look like. So when I saw that violet, I was like, ooh, Icy Violet looks great. It looks super, super purple. And then I got it, and it kind of just was exactly what I expected from Revlon. Revlon's kind of like, they're not a bad brand. They have a lot of nice lipsticks. But I always feel like when I see the little thing on the bottom, I know that I'm going to get a much more muted color. I'm not going to get a really... Um, like Revlon isn't, to, at least to me, they're not really vibrant. Like when I want vibrant or bright, I always go to Maybelline. That's why Maybelline's my, my bigger choice. But I'm wearing it right now. It's very true to the tube. Very creamy, very moisturizing. Um, two swipes, opacity. I'm kind of impressed. I gotta admit, even though it's not the opacity or the shades that I'm used to, impressed. Now, um, when I put it on my lips, I was like, this kind of looks like a lipstick that I have for MAC. And of course, I had to do a skin test. And as you can see, these two shades are really, really similar. What two shades are they? Well, the top shade here is Icy Violet, and the shade below it is from the MAC Barbie collection, Sweet and Single. Now, of course, there are some subtle differences. Um, Sweet and Single has a little bit of uh, glitter to it as you can see in here you might be able to see it or not it has a little bit of a bluish indigo uh, not blue, not indigo but like a bluish or purple sparkle to it whereas icy violet does not have that and they are just slightly um slightly a little bit the shine is just slightly different but on the lips they are almost identical minus that little bit of sparkle so if you are looking for a shade that's really close to sweet and single from the mac Barbie collection. Um, not perfectly a dupe, but pretty darn close. Don't you guys think? Oh my goodness, right? Because I love this shade. As you can see, I'm getting a little down. So, if you liked that shade and you're okay with it not having so much sparkle, please pick up Icy Violet. It is really, really close. And just to give you a swatch on the hand, that's one, two. So it's a little bit deeper, but if you want it to be like sweet and single, just do one. Just do like one swipe. And you can get it very close to Sweet and Single. Maybe that's like the wrong place to do it. But one swipe and you got the same color. Now that I've wiped a little bit away. Because Sweet and Single is a much sheer shade. Sweet and Single is a luster finish. So very sheer. So if you put just one swipe, it's going to be really, really close. And um, I have pretty pigmented lips. So a luster lipstick brings out the pigment on my lips. So if you're used to a luster and you know Sweet and Single, and you put this on sheer, really, really, really close. Um, so the next shade I'm going to show you guys is Sandstorm. Now, I remember being a teenager. I remember being in junior high school when this shade came out. And I remember shades like this being so popular. I remember the only things I could find in the drugstore were shades like this. So I kind of like, I hated shades like this at the time. But now that I see it in retrospect, I'm like, wow, that is really, really pretty shade. So um, this is, oh, by the way, let me give you another close-up of Icy Violet so you could see it. So it does have some shimmer in it, it's just not the same shimmer as Sweet and Single. It's got like an, it's got a, a lilac-y, it's got a lilac -y color instead of a brighter purpley glitter shimmer. 
So this is Sandstorm, and this one has a lot of um, golden shimmer in it. Really, really pretty. And also two swipes opacity, but this is very, very multi-dimensional on the lip. And um, if I can compare it to um, a MAC lipstick, I would say it's kind of like a frost. Now, the thing with Revlon lipsticks is I find they don't last too long on the lips. So if you're familiar with the Revlon formula um, and they last long for you, then these will probably be the same. For me, Revlon just does not last too long on the lips, but they are moisturizing. And they do have okay color payoff. Uh, I do find myself having to swipe a few times. And sometimes I always look at the bottom and I don't find the colors true to the little stickers. But these shades are pretty decent. Um, the other shades look pretty nice too. The peach colors and the red. So if you see the display you might want to check them out because they are all limited edition. And um, they're not part of the permanent range. They were just brought back as kind of like a fan vote. So check them out in your local drugstore. And thank you so much for watching. We're going to have picture swatches and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.